told you your cancer is leukemia. But what does this mean? Welcome to another chapter of the Patient's Guide by Vulpi. Okay, so the simplest and easiest way to explain leukemia is to say it is blood cancer. You've probably seen your blood come out when you scrape, cut, or have a nosebleed. But we need to look closer. Let's use a sparticle of curiosity to explore more closely. Blood is made up of several types of cells. Red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Red blood cells are responsible for carrying the oxygen we breathe to the entire body. White blood cells are like security patrols that protect the body from viruses and bacteria infections. And platelets are in charge of repairing damaged tissues and wounds throughout the body. They are like mini bricks that cover the holes in the walls of our body's cells. Blood cells are created in a place called bone marrow, which is a spongy tissue inside our bones. That's right. We have a micro factory of cells inside our bones. When we have leukemia, the bone marrow produces some cells that don't function properly. These are the cancer cells. The problem with cancer cells is that they multiply faster than healthy cells and last longer in the body. And how is leukemia treated? Since leukemia is not a tumor where all the cancer cells gather, it cannot be removed with surgery. This is why we use a treatment known as chemotherapy. Occasionally, doctors may do a bone marrow transplant, transferring healthy cells from someone else into your bloodstream to help you create more healthy cells on your own. This was the Patient's Guide by Vulpi. <laughs>